guess. All set. All set. Okay. okay. So at the fifth Canadian Science Policy Conference, uh, we have uh, here with us Dr. Ted Hisu, the Member of Parliament from Kingston and the Island. Welcome. Oh, good to be here. <laughs> Thanks very much for being here. Uh, so, uh, Dr. Hisu, you're one of the very few scientists in the Parliament Hill. Could you tell us your view of a scientist from our political system or from Parliament Hill? Well, I think um, that my one of the goals for me is to prove that uh, it's important to have a scientist uh, in the House of Commons to, to show how a scientist can contribute mm -hmm. to the House of Commons. Um, one of the ways that I think it's already contributed is I've been able to use my contacts in the scientific community to help me understand the implications of policy changes, funding changes. Mm -hmm. uh, and the other thing is when I go and visit laboratories, I, I can uh, really share in the passion that the researchers have about science. And quite often our discussions will go off and talk about something <laughs> not related to public policy at That's all. Right. But I think uh, sharing that passion is really important to mm -hmm. understanding uh, uh, why the scientists are doing what they're doing. Uh, and I think it's also important to uh, understanding the motivations and, and uh, how really how uh, the decisions about funding that we make in Ottawa affect research labs because we know the dynamic, we know how research works, uh, how it's not a straight line, uh, how uh, sometimes uh, accidents happen which uh, lead to new discoveries and, and just how uh, that whole process. That's right, that's right. And um, so the next question is, do we need more scientists in our Parliament Hill? What do you think? Uh, I think we do, and, and what I would say is I think we need to have some scientists in all the political parties. Right, right. Uh, I think that, well, in, in my caucus there's, there's myself, uh, uh, Mark Garneau's a PhD in engineering, we have uh, Christy Duncan's a PhD in geography, and so we have some uh, social scientists as well, medical doctors. Uh, I think that we should have scientists in other uh, parties, and I think that one of the reasons for doing that is we want to have a science policy uh, which the different uh, uh, parties can roughly agree on. Mm -hmm. Because I think it's important for science policy to not change abruptly whenever there's an election. And I would say the same thing about industrial policy. Uh, it's very important for uh, a country to have consistent, reliable, long-term policy. And I think parties should be willing, political parties should be willing to give up something uh, to the other parties in order to have that uh, stability and right. reliability right. that, that right. scientists and industry right. investment uh, mm -hmm. needs. Mm -hmm. And uh, what can be done in order to improve and strengthen the interaction between the scientific community and the political systems? I mean, the uh, Parliament Hill and the Senate and others. I think there's a number of things. One is to have to elect a, to elect a few more scientists and right. engineers. Right. Right. Uh, the second thing I think that we should do is we should uh, copy what they have in the United States, which mm -hmm. is a congressional uh, science fellowships. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think we should have some uh, parliamentary science fellows mm -hmm. working in the political staff mm -hmm. of mm -hmm. the different parties, uh, because a lot of what happens is uh, connections are made not at the level of the politicians that you see, but in the political staff uh, behind the politicians and. As a group, I would say that scientists and engineers are not well connected with the mm -hmm. political staff mm -hmm. as compared to, say, other professions, lawyers, doctors, uh, organized labor, teachers, uh, farmers. All those groups, I think, are much better connected with the political That's backrooms right. than That's scientists right. and engineers. That's right. So we need more, uh, perhaps, uh, uh, organizations on a systematic basis in order to make that interaction, make that connections with the political That's system right. on behalf of scientists. That's right. The other thing I would just add. Right is that in the, in the end, politicians are listening to voters. Yes. And voters need to know what scientists do. That's right. And I think it would be good if we could encourage scientists, and maybe this will take some funding, <laughs> uh, encourage as many scientists to do yeah. outreach <laughs> as possible, outreach to the general population mm -hmm. about what their research is, why it's important, why they're so passionate right. about it, right. what right. are the implications. Uh, I know that the Perimeter Institute uh, in Waterloo, Theoretical Physics Institute, has a certain percentage of its budget set mm -hmm. aside mm -hmm. for, for public outreach. That's right. And I think it would be a good idea for everybody funded through uh, the, uh, the three research councils uh, to be told, okay, we'll give you a little extra money and you go out and explain to the public how their tax dollars are being used and why, it's, why what you do is so exciting and 
it could change things, it could benefit people. Uh, I think if the voting public knows more about what scientists do, that will translate into politicians knowing more and caring more about uh, what scientists and engineers do. Excellent points. I just want to point out to the fact, uh, to one of the things you mentioned about these science fellows and CSPC have been so passionate uh, from the very beginning and that was one of the objectives of CSPC to see at some point the establishment of postdoctoral fellowships in science policy and to bring the PhD graduates into the political offices in Senate and also uh, in the Parliament Hill and uh, do one-year fellowships for the PhDs for the PhD graduates. We introduced this idea and, and I hope that others can support it and at some point we see that this is happening across all political parties mm -hmm. and, and it's good I guess for science and also for our political system. Yes, well let's make it happen. <laughs> oh, okay, thank you. So we just got a commitment from Ted Hesu to support the idea but thank you very much for being, uh, being here at the conference and, and we'll look forward to see you in our future events. Good, I'm very happy to be here. Thank you.